Dear children, good morning. Welcome back to the politics class. Today's thought, failure will never overtake me if my determination to succeed is strong enough by O.G. Matno. Listen, dear children, we have to do the work with a great determination. Then we can achieve our aim. Okay, now we can continue our politics class. Today, I am going to start a new lesson from politics. Did you remember what did we discuss the previous class? Yes, previous class, we discussed the Indian Constitution. And do you remember one of the most important feature of the Indian Constitution? What is that? Okay, secularism. Yes, today, I am going to discuss that understanding secularism. And the main topics, that is the essence of secularism, religious discrimination and what is secularism and importance of separating religion from the state. This part we wanted to discuss. Clear? What is the essence of secularism? I hope all of you know what is secularism. Is secularism is one giving equal importance to each and every religion or religious tolerance. No one should be discriminated against on grounds of their religious practices and beliefs. All forms of dominations related to religion that should end. Clear? No need of any discrimination on the basis of religion. Religious discrimination. Members of one religious community either persecute or discriminate against members of other religious communities that led to what that led to the communal clashes so no need of such like a discrimination and the discrimination that take place when one religion is given official recognition by the state if the state recognizing one religion as the official religion then what happened the discrimination occur okay no one would wish to be discriminated against him because of the religion nor dominated by another religion many examples there listen such like religious discrimination occurred in different parts of the world one the one of the example germany under hitler hitler gave importance to the aryans he hated the Jews or Judas and he killed many innocent Judas. And another example, Jewish state of Israel and Saudi Arabia. You know that, okay? The, the religious majority, they discriminated the minorities. Clear? Then, please see this picture. What is secularism? From this picture itself, you can understand. Giving importance to each and every religion. No need of any discrimination. We have to think we are the Indians. Clear? Secularism means religious tolerance. Give equal importance to each and every religion. No discrimination on basis of religion. India adopted a strategy of separating religion from the state. Secularism refers to this separation. Listen, we did not recognize any religion as the official religion. Next, the right to freedom of religion. Religious freedom is provided to all citizens. Every citizen has the right to practice, to follow, profess and propagate their own religion. Listen. Then, importance of separating religion from the state. What are the importance of separating religion from the state? The first point, to function democratically. Listen, ours is a democratic country. To follow the principles of democracy, it is necessary to separate religion from the state. The majority religious group do not establish their power over the minority or not allowing the majority to use the financial resources and power to discriminate against other religion. Clear? Not allowing the majority to use their influence or their power to discriminate the minorities. 
the tyranny of the majority that could result in the discrimination and the domination based on religion in the violation of the rights guaranteed by the constitution listen the domination based on religion is the violation of the rights guaranteed by the indian constitution and the tyranny of the majority and the violation of the fundamental rights is one reason to separate religion from the state did you clear next another important reason to separate state from the religion that is to protect the freedom of individuals every individuals they have the freedom to interpret religious teachings in a different manner example then in india earlier existed the untouchability listen then the hindu majority they considered the low caste people as inferiors and treated cruelly to them the majority religious group do not have the right to control the state power clear now please see what did we discuss what, is, what are the importance of separating religion from the state first point to function democratically second not allowing the majority to misuse the state power third protect the freedom of individual and abolition of untouchability i hope all of you understood and the remaining part i will take the next class okay it's a very simple lesson and it is a small lesson and most of this part we already discussed in the first lesson if you didn't clear any part please contact me listen don't forget and to complete the notes also okay thank you my dear